Wait, what? Ah, here we go. Can we so reach deep in the caverns is a fish made of gemstones. Okay, so it's just normal caverns. So let's go off and get that then. Hopefully we can uh, do a good job of doing this. So we're going to look in a normal cavern, which I think this would be our best place to go. So we're going to go off and go and find this jewel fish. Now I would imagine a jewel fish to actually be in the hollowed biome because it's like hollowed. But a jewel fish, you know, there's those jewel areas and it does make a lot more sense, doesn't it? Right, here we go. So we just need to be in an underground biome. I think, does it need to be cavern layer or like fully underground layer? Because this is cavern layer. But underground layer is that. No, that that's not the background for underground. That's still cavern layer. That's, I don't know what layer. I think this is the still cavern layer. I don't know how far you have to go. That's ice layer. I don't want that. I just wonder, let's try in this layer at a minute because I don't know if this uh, this will be the one to get it or if we'll need to be in a lower biome because this, like I say, this is the cavern layer and I've got no clue if we can get it from here or not. But let's have a go. We, we might as well. So it did say underground as well. So I don't know if this, oh, we've got an iron crate. Lovely. I don't know if this is underground or if this is what I don't really know. Right, I don't think this biome is any good anymore. I think it's been infected with... Has it been infected too much? Yeah, speckler fish. No good. Uh, do we have any more places where it's fully underground? Mm, I reckon that'd be too much. Right, what we need to do is we need to go to our steam bunker. Buy... Don't have it on me. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna buy a new one. <laughs> I always do this every time. I end up buying just a whole new one. So we're gonna buy a clementator, clementator, whatever you want to call it. It's actually a clen clentaminator, because yeah, I always say it wrong. I'm gonna buy a bunch of solutions. I think I've just spent all my money on it as well. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We'll, we'll roll with it. We'll pretend we meant to. So what we're gonna do is gonna head down into these caverns here because i think it it cuts off where does it cut off into underground because that's like the cavern biome it cuts off into underground when it's like brown doesn't it because so it's that biome then that's the underground biome so when it will talk to him again just in case he swapped his quest yeah jewel fish good so what we need to do now is go and clen clentaminate is that what it's called clentaminator yeah we need to clentaminate all the area so that it will be normal biome. There we go. This isn't normal biome because this is actually... What do you call it? Biome at the minute. There we go. Uh, mushroom biome. That's it. It's mushroom biome. Just need to make our way downtown. Walking fast. Ha. Here we go. <gasps> All these cobwebs are keeping me in. <gasps> run, Jimmy, run. What am I even talking about? I'm crazy. Uh, I, I've just gone mad, guys. Right, here we go. So we're just going to contaminate all of this area. Make it into a normal biome because we don't want all this. There we go. I think, it's, I think the background's sort of like purple. If it's... Is it? If it... Hmm. I don't know. I think the background's slightly purple if it's underground... Crim uh, corruption. But I don't know that for a fact. It might not be. That's the, that's the thing. So what we need to do is just go around here and just contaminate the whole area because if anything near it is corrupted, then sadly it will make everything else corrupted, which sucks. So there we go. Boom. Look at that. All of that is normal biome now. So we've got a massive chunk of normal biome and this is underground. So hopefully this will be a nice area to fish. For some reason there's a corruptor there. There shouldn't be. There should not be corruptors there. <laughs> there just shouldn't be. What are they even there for? Go away. We're in the underground biome now. And it's normal biome. So hopefully, like I said, this pulls off and actually gives me... The, the line keeps breaking. Let's swap out our things because uh, we can stop the line breaking with this. And... I hate it when the line breaks. There we go. Oh, we got our first one. <laughs> wow. Really? Really? 
It's going to give me first go? Wow. I did not think that it would give me that fast. I'm, I'm outstanding by that. Really? We, we used the Clentaminator for about 30 seconds. And then come back and boom, jewel fish. How often does that happen? I, d I don't think I've ever been that lucky before. Potions and bait, really? Wow. Uh, okay, so let's open the iron crate. We've got mana potions, adamantite, and a little dagger. All right, it's telling me to go away. We'll just leave him to it. Okay, I can't sell things to him as well. Why is this going so bad now? Oh, no, I can sell things to him, can't I? There we go, lovely. Okay, so we're going to sell this, this. 40 gold, is that all you get back from it? Let's sell this. Sell, 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 sell. Wait, yeah, sell, sell. Mm, we've got a ton of those, we don't need them. Sell. Mud blocks got no value, but we'll sell them anyway, whatever. Uh, do you want the fish out of my inventory? We can't sell it while it's in there, so we'll sell that. And... I think that's about... Ah, sell, sell. We'll put that down here. We're going to put our best bait to the side. 15%, 50%, 30 20 Right, cool. And then we've got the truffle worm, which obviously sells for 10. A truffle worm sells for 10 gold. Wow. That is mad. That is actually crazy. I I'm, I'm outstanding by that. I really am. That has actually blown my mind. A truffle worm... I, I, I knew it sold for a lot, but I didn't know it sold for 10 gold. 10 whole gold. Wow. Wow, we, we found out something today that the truffle worms are a big money maker if you can get a lot of them. And I know you can make a really good farm and get like... About, I think it was 8 platinum an hour. 8 platinum, platinum an hour would get you... Yeah, it'd get you that much. I don't know how many truffle worms that is, but that is mad. Oh, it must be 80 truffle worms, wasn't it? So yeah, about 18 hours sounds right. When did a meteorite land there? This world always has new things in store for me. I did not know a meteorite had landed there. I've not been saying that. I've not been this way for quite a long time. So I'd imagine there would be a meteorite or something to land there. But wow. Well, not in that exact place. A meteorite can land anywhere. Finally, the trees are growing. I forgot they fixed that. The palm tree. Are they, palm they weren't even palm trees, were they? Were they? I don't know. But this is the world with the awfully weird end biome. Because it's got sand. Then it's got a ton of normal biome. And then it goes back to like the ocean biome again. Which blows my mind. I can't believe that it's like... Like that. It's it just crazy. Right, here we go. We're at the end. And we have a little thing. How did I die? Frostbite was murdered by the Cthulhu Nado. Cthulhu Nado, not Cthulhu. There we go. Right, here we go. So, what we're going to do, we do have it like doubled up so that if I do fall, I can just do that. That's why I did that, but normally I do drop twice. So, we're going to fight the Truffle Worm today. I don't know how fast I've killed it before, but I do want to try and get a fast kill. If that's going to be possible. So we're going to try to do it as fast as possible. You guys can time me. So as soon as this is spawned in and I start attacking. That is when, right. One. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We've got him halfway. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Whoa! He always killed me. 49 and about 52. I'd say about 52. That's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> so we need to go grab our loot again. But wow. It took me about 52 seconds to kill him. And 
not a world record, but I reckon that was quite fast. I don't know how fast you guys kill him. I did get killed myself in the process, but is that a good time? Isn't it a good time? Do you think I could do it, could have done it faster? Is there any other setups that I can use to do it faster? And I don't know what the world record is for it, but it's definitely not the world record. Me and a bunch of guys, uh, there was about seven people, me and a bunch of about seven people, we killed him in eight seconds. I don't know if that's any sort of record, if people are killing faster. Obviously, on the PC, you can kill a Duke Fishron super fast because you have things like um, the last prism, which which totally obliterates it, okay? Um, I saw Mr. Epic Ninja doing like something really, really stupid. It was like three seconds, but I don't know. It was it was a massive amount of damage, and the yeah, it will, it will forever be overpowered. Now, I realize on PC you can do that, and I know on PC that people have probably got... Such, such a fast amount of time, like, uh, just a fast kill streak. But, console, talking to console Android users, what's your fastest time that you've ever killed Plantera? Be honest. Like, I'm not going to fabricate it and say, oh, my fastest time was four seconds, because it really wasn't. But if it generally was four seconds, tell me what uh, loadout you had, tell me what setup you had, and I will try to replicate whatever you did. So if you did it in 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever, um... Tell me below what your loadout was, and I'll take the challenge on. I'll, I'll do it with your loadout and see if I can replicate what you did. Because for me, melee is probably the best way to fight it. Personally, for me, that that's just my opinion. Let's just check. If this, is this house uh, livable? This house is suitable. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the sign room. This housing is already occupied. By who? Oh, okay, cool. I, I thought there was just uh, another NPC moved in there. It's like, is Santa here? <laughs> because Santa can move into any of these houses. I'm pretty sure I've got room around the house as well for people to spawn in. And I think Santa's the only one I'm missing, right? No. Oh, I'm missing, oh, I'm missing a truffle NPC because I don't have any truffle biome. And... Who else am I missing then? Is it because I don't have enough... No, it's not because I ain't got enough rooms. I know Santa's one. Can't, can't think of the other one. I, I can't think of the other NPC. Demolitionist. Clothing? Cloth? Cloth trader? He's the dye trader. Oh, the clothier is here. Okay. So I don't know. What, whatever. I'm missing one. That's uh, very apparent that I'm missing one. But let's try to find a suitable materials to make this squirtle. Because, I mean, cobalt brick would have been nice. It's a very nice blue colour. I think I'm just going to get a load of wood. Wood's the way forward. Or can you paint dirt? Nah, wood looks better painted. So I'm going to grab my paint. Do I have blue paint anywhere? I do. Well, how many shades of blue do I need, though, for a Squirtle? Do you think I'll need a lot of shades of blue? Because I think that I won't need too many squ shades of blue for a Squirtle. I, I really don't know. But let's take a look. How many shades? So we've got our paintbrush here as well. And if we make any mistakes, we can use the paint remover. There we go. So Squirtle, Pixel Art. And I'll try leaving in the description. If I don't remember, just tell me, guys. Here we go then. So we do have a nice Squirtle Pixel here. It looks like he uses two different shades of blue. That's good. Two different shades of blue is always good. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to make that one. Because that one looks really nice. And it's very... I like it when a Pixel Art is out, uh, stands out. So we're going to paint there. We're going to use wood for the very first time ever. Because I've never used wood for a Pixel Art. Don't know why. But we need to go, go grab a bunch of wood, that means. Whether uh, we have... I don't think this is going to be enough wood. Not for the whole thing. But we do need white as well. So I'm actually going to incorporate some snow. And... Brown, which I'll just literally use, you know, for a darker brown. Let's use mud. Because that's like a darker brown, isn't it? Yeah, we've got the white. We've got the, we haven't got the black yet. We have the black now, though. So we've got the white, black, brown. We've got the blue paint. 
And we need a slightly lighter blue paint, if that's possible. Because we've got, like, the royal blue paint. But we need a slightly lighter. If, like, sky blue paint might do it. Do you think sky blue paint would be nice? I really don't know. Because I'm, I'm not too good at that stuff. Right, we need to find our painter now. Is he one of the NPCs we are missing? No. Lorenzo is all the way over here, if that's his name. It was before. Oh, I've joined the green pie. <laughs> oh, it's Darren. All right, Darren. How you doing, mate? So... Cyan paint will do. Whatever. We'll buy a bunch of these. Paint's really cheap. I'm really really surprised it's so cheap. With all the inflation of costs. But yeah, we've got that. And we need to buy some yellow paint. There we go. So a bunch of yellow paint now as well. We've got the yellow. We've got the blue. Lovely. So now we need to go grab ourselves a bunch of wood. Which I did place a lot of trees down. I don't know if they're going to be normal uh, none of these will be normal trees, will they? They'll all be, like, hollowed and stuff. Their cactus, the cactus is so big. Look at it. Yeah, they're all going to be, like, different trees. So they're not going to be any good, sadly. So what we're going to do is we're going to save. Save that. And then what we'll do is we'll head over to our other world and hopefully grab some wood. Because that's what we need right now. So Crimson, please, let's just load that up. And we'll go in, we'll see if we grab some wood out of here. Because I think I did have some wood in these chests, maybe. No wood there. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now, I knew I had some somewhere. Whoa! Look at that pony just... Or unicorn just actually charge at me. He absolutely obliterated me nearly. Right, we're going to head over to our main world. And then we will start the pixel art again. I don't like using the quick selection tool. It's not one for me. I like using it for potions, and that's about it. So, that's what I'm going to use it for, potions. And I'm going to make sure I have my dark blue on. So, that'll have to be there, won't it? Let me just uh, double check that. Let me just paint a block. Let's see if I'm correct. Yeah, that was the dark blue. That actually looks pretty cool. Should we paint, should we paint my house blue? <laughs> I like the color blue. Can we paint the door blue? <gasps> you could paint the door blue. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That looks good. That actually looks good. Just, just doing a spot painting. No mind me, guys. What does that look like on the map? Does it, like, show up blue on the map or not? Show up normal on the map? Ah, that's the problem. On the map, the pixel art is going to look really bad. Because painted blocks... Don't actually show up painted. They show up as their original. Mm, that, that's going to be a problem, really, isn't it? Because if we're going to be painting blocks, it's going to look good when we go up to it. But on the actual uh, on the actual map, it'll look really bad. Because it doesn't show up. And the whole reason I do it on the map is so when people like look on the map and they see it, they're like, Wow, that, that, that actually looks pretty good. So I'm just going to paint all this just, just in case it's just like, because it's a small area. Right, I'll paint a big area now. And yeah, just so it shows up brown. So I would love it if it did show up on the map with the normal. But we're going to go ahead and use the paint. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that it will look all right. I'm, I'm very confident that as long as in person it looks all right. I'm not too fussed on the map. As long as it looks okay in person, then hopefully it will look okay altogether. So... Yeah, we're going to start off now, so we're going to speed this part up, and I'll speak to you guys very soon.
there we have our Squirtle. Pixlide does look really cool, but I mean, I don't understand the dark blue shades. I mean, that's the shades of it, I guess. I don't know. Like, just can't put my finger on it why there's dark blue shades. I guess that's where the shadow shades are or something. But it does like a Squirtle on here. But when we look on the map, as you might just saw... It sort of looks like a shiny Squirtle, or a wooden Squirtle, which looks really weird, but I don't know. I don't like it that it does that on the map, but up close it does look like a Squirtle, and like say, the dark areas are where the shade is, but if I was to just do all that all blue, it'd look more like a Squirtle in my opinion. But again, I think we did a really good job. Now, we can light this up with an ultra bright torch if we need to, so you can see like in, in the middle or something, I don't know, let's just place one, oh, we can't. Can't play. We need to place it like on the outsides, don't we? I don't think that's going to reach onto the insides either. But whatever. Uh, there we go. So we've got the torches there. They're not really going to light up. But hopefully we can find something to light them up. I don't know. But yeah, there's a the Squirtle. I think we did a really good job. I don't think we did bad, to be fair. It looks alright. Like sound them out though, it just doesn't look like a Squirtle. It just doesn't. Which is my only negativity with using paint. That's my only problem with using paint. I don't, just don't like the fact that it doesn't look like it on the map. Uh, but yeah, but maybe I'll invest in some blocks, something, cobalt blocks, if I can get some cobalt ores, make them into bars, make them into blocks. You know, I'd, I don't know though. Maybe soon. Bit again. Oh, I think I changed this bit last time as well, didn't I? I can't remember if I did or didn't. I just really can't. Well, let's just uh, continue painting this house then, <laughs> because we do need to finish. Oh, you can paint candles? Wow, I, I, wow, I've got a blue candle now, guys. That's uh, pretty interesting, isn't it? I didn't think you could paint candles, but apparently you can. It's going to look really bad because I can't reach up to the middle bits. What I might do, need to do is like destroy a bit of my house and then place it back down again because... I'm going to do that now. Yeah, uh, there we go. Just so I can reach it to paint it because it looks really bad if I don't paint it all. There we go. I do like the colour blue as well. That's the reason I painted it blue. Quite obvious, really, isn't it? You're not going to paint it blue if you don't like blue. There we go. We should be able to reach that now. Lovely. We've got a nice blue house. But a bit weird, but looks uh, overall pretty nice. We could paint the background as well. Maybe we can paint that. I don't know what colour. We could probably paint it, I don't know, yellow or something to make it look pretty good. Or maybe light blue. Light blue might go well. We'll, we'll take a look anyway. Let's just uh, paint this bit in a minute. There we go. Oh, I forgot. Completely forgot that you could paint chest too. That looks really cool. I guess that's how we could color code the chest, can we? We could actually paint them blue so that they look blue. But is this is this ruining my house? I don't know. Uh, it might be. It might just be ruining my house. But I like blue, and uh, blue blue is what it's going to be. Okay, that's what we're going to agree on. That's what we're going to do. Can you paint mud blocks? You can. Wow. That actually looks really good. I like how the grass goes blue. That's cool, guys. That is very cool. I like how the grass has gone blue there. Right, here we go. So we're going to paint it up to there. And we're not going to paint any more up to there. So we're just going to paint this last little bit now. And then we are finished painting our house. It looks pretty nice. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know what colour to do the background, though. It, it is quite interesting because I could do it. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's just paint this part of the house so it looks even. There looks even Stevens, don't it? There we go. And beautiful. It looks good. Looks great. All painted. Looks a bit weird. Got to admit, I've not, not saw a house like this. Let's try doing yellow in the background. Let's see if blue and yellow go. Oh, you can't paint backgrounds then? I thought you would be able to paint backgrounds. Apparently not. Okay, then that's completely fine. Uh, I don't have any problems with that. If you can't paint, uh, paint backgrounds, that's that's fine. Just paint this back again. There we go. We have a nice blue house now. Looks pretty cool. I'm actually, really digging it at the minute. Do we paint it down to here? Because yeah, whatever. We'll paint. We'll do it. We'll do it. Oh my god, the teleporters look so cool. Blue. They look awesome. I'm so glad I bought this paint. <laughs> Probably my best investment in Terraria. Probably one of one of my best investments in Terraria anyway. 
Get a look at that. Oh my god. That just looks beautiful. I'm actually in love with this house now. Look at that. Let's have a look if the angler has any more quests as well. Before we end this episode today, let's talk to the angler and see if he has any quests for us. You got any, Simon? Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever got a zombie fish. In the forest. Okay then, so it looks like we're going to do that next episode. We will do the zombie fish and hopefully we'll find it very easy to get. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me today. Please do like and subscribe. See you next time. Stay frosty and peace.